Good evening. I have a question for the board. Identify yourself, please. Jennifer O'Donnell. I have a question for the board. No question, because it's not. Is it discussion. obvious is that you backed the wrong horse yet? I have purposefully not brought up the Karen Reed case to the select board meetings outside of speaking in memory of John O'Keefe. And I want, I won't pretend to know what happened that awful night. However, what is very clear is it wasn't Karen Reed. I'm not sure if you have been following, but the last hearing, we all got to watch Chris walk in behind a woman who gladly used her body to entrap a journalist for reporting too effectively. A human shield, smiling smugly, feeling so smart while it backfiring. Good smile, Chris. Chris has shown us how low he's willing to go. I believe the court was told she is family. Chris has taken to using people as collateral now, bending and twisting the laws and rules to his own needs. Chris Albert, you and the Commonwealth brought the circus to our town. You and your bad judgment call after bad judgment call are the reason so many keep showing up. It's that simple. You are the sideshow. You claim to be a scared witness. You're not scared, Chris. This is a game to you. Don't know what happened that night, but we do know what's happened ever since. And you continue to abuse the seat that you sit in and use your resource, our resources as a town and a state for your personal protection, including using us as your human shield. You weren't scared when you singled me out at the courthouse, Chris. I stood in silence exercising my First Amendment. Holding this sign here, it's been the same sign that I've held ever since September. Would I be using that? You asked me as you cocked your little head, would you be using this as your school committee campaign? No, Chris, because until you singled me out, I was able to keep these two completely separate. I have this sign from the start. We have Meatball Morrissey and Corrupt Proctor infamous solo cops in a killer playlist. Nothing scary, nothing bullying, nothing about you, nothing about anyone else in this town. No mention of the McAlberts. You have used trashy people in court as a shield, and you have used our town as a shield long enough. You and, my, and the entire family and social circle are involved in this case to making, too involved to be making any sound judgments on behalf of our town. You should take thank the time you, to focus you. at home. Thank you. Chris you should be thank embarrassing you. yourself. Down. You should be embarrassed of yourself. Embarrassed. You. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. We're gonna stop the clapping. We're gonna get on to the next one. Or we're gonna stop this thing right now. Next. Go ahead, next. Kristen Anderson. Good evening. As, mem as members of the board, you work for me, a random citizen. One of my expectations is to conduct yourself in a professional manner, especially when out in public. You are representing this town. However, Attending a high profile murder case, swearing at bystanders, and making derogatory comments to other random citizens that are currently running for specific seats within the town. Well, that is extremely inappropriate and unacceptable and should not be tolerated. I know I do not tolerate it. With that being said, we're part of, dude, you gotta go. Do you not? understand. Thank you and have a good evening. Paul McAuliffe. 
Over the past several weeks and months, we've been lectured on things like decency, integrity, transparency, accountability, and leadership with profanity-laced rhetoric by an individual running for a school committee position. I'll start Excuse by me. acknowledging that when me. Mrs. Schumann was here and speak. read the letter in front of the board, it was obvious that it had its intended effect. She was upset and shaking. You don't have a heart if you didn't feel for her. The, the origin of the letter was never actually determined, but nobody questioned it, its impact on Ms. Schumann. And I think we can all agree that nobody should ever be made to feel that way. That being said, about two months ago, I myself received a communication from the individual in the running for school committee reading the following. Do you really want me to focus on you? Do you really want me to dig and find out your connection to the corruption? I've never done a thing to you or, she names a citizen who I have no personal affiliation with, this is my only suggestion, and I said the same to this unnamed citizen, pretend I don't exist or prepare, misspelled, for me to fight back. I'm not fighting any one individual, I'm fighting to make a less toxic environment for all of our children. Why are yours in private? That's what I've been told. We have such great schools, who's paying for the private school? I haven't wasted my time looking into you, but maybe it's time. Unlike the letter Ms. Schumann received, this, this message had a timestamp, date stamp, name, and photo attached. What I have to say to this person is go ahead and dig, whatever the hell that means. I can tell you what you'll find. You'll find me probably laughing at something inappropriate or making a comment on social media that's maybe unpopular in your circle. You know what that means? It means I have a personality and that I'm flawed, just like you, just like every other person in this room and in town, everyone. And even though I'm nothing special, maybe you'll just ruin me forever. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Good for you. But in the meantime, while you try and dredge up something damning that'll cripple my reputation, I encourage you to take your own advice and instead pretend I don't exist. Don't talk about my kids anymore, ever. And don't threaten me. In fact, maybe rethink your entire approach on how you address people that think differently than you especially if you're trying to secure their vote to help oversee the development of our children. Over here, this way. Thank you, thank you, sir. I am not gonna allow any confrontation. I am not gonna allow any confrontation from you. Thank you. Excuse me, I'm gonna ask you to, I'm gonna ask you to please, I'm gonna have you please take a seat. Mark Grossman, Meadows Ave. And this will, this is, is this the last one? Yep. yep. Yeah, go ahead, Mr. Grossman. We just first of all, everyone's respectful when you speak, and you're not, you know, you're not the same. That was rude. This way, this way. So um, I find it deplorable and utterly unfair for individuals who think they know the facts to issue a blanket denunciation of the town's police force, all of whom are decent, hardworking, respectful officers. To insinuate these officers are corrupt officers that have grown up here, that, and uh have families here would risk their pension, everything they've worked for in their career is insulting. I've grown up with numerous of them and know them and their families personally and to question their character is wrong. We are fortunate to have a great police department. Um, I just wanna to say to the people that are here that from out of town, I mean, there's really no, there's no place. I mean, this this way. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, there's, there's no this I feel like there's no place for these people that don't live in Canton. They're here for one reason and to cause problems. They don't care for the better of the town uh, causing a mockery. And I think anyone that associates themselves, I mean, with them, I mean, these people like find a hobby, like, well, go to your own town. I don't know why you're here. You know? yeah. Okay, that's it, that's it. Enough. Sit down. Please, I'm gonna ask you to that's sit it. down yeah, or I'm gonna ask you to leave. I'm gonna ask you to sit down or leave. Or then do not make his legs. Your, but do not make a comment. We have people coming here, I don't my glasses dressed up as a clown. I mean, it's ridiculous that I, you know, I just feel like this is, um, we should be concentrating, there's enough going on in Canton and, um, and we should focus on the issues. Thank you. Thank you. Is that it? <coughs> That's it. We've got a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. But that, that hasn't okay. been 15 motion, minutes. 15, 15 minutes, minutes is up. It hasn't been 15, 15 minutes. 15, 15 minutes, minutes, minutes is up. Three minutes a piece. We have a motion to adjourn. The clock, there was still, there was still six minutes left. Second. We have a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Come on. Second. Yep. The buzzer second. only went. The buzzer went off right. twice. How is that possible? Thank you. Five. 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 Just three more minutes. Five. Five. It doesn't say five speakers. It says fifteen minutes. You guys not understand that?
Don't think that people don't see what the hell's going on here.